I came to uh, Silicon Valley where the heart of innovation is, try to maybe start a career there. My favorite course, um, I guess this semester, is Ethics of Medicine. Okay, let's say your close family member is on their deathbed. Like, Do you choose to keep them living or do you just um, help the them plug. come? Yeah, pull the plug, exactly. My number one advice to her is take as many electives mm -hmm. as you can right. and do all over the spectrum of classes and departments. Sea Life, the web reality show. Financial aid, I didn't, like, I understood FAFSA, I knew how to fill that out, but everything that came with it, I didn't know what anything meant, and no one really guided me. Like, my parents didn't know, they didn't go to college. Like, I'm the first, and it's, it was definitely a struggle for me. I, I wasn't motivated when I was in high school, and I just recently, like, after I transferred, that's when, like, I just picked up, like, my motivation and, like, did everything on my own, and like ask for help like yeah. mm. I would say be persistent yeah um, persistent. the financial aid especially I, I don't know my school the office there is ridiculous. it's a complete it's mess, a complete mess. Yeah. I found I would literally go in for the past two weeks go in every day and sit there you have to wait in line you have to call mm -hmm. in every day you just have to be persistent because it's so difficult yeah. well, there, there's so many different papers that you have to fill out like it's not yeah. just one thing that you go through it's another process and every time you think you're done you get an email. Like, like, like an yeah. email saying, There's oh, you need to go and fill out this document oh, yeah. now. And sign this Absolutely. now. If you can get any, like, help from, because I, at the end, finally just started asking people, like, mm -hmm. how do I feel? People who've done it or people yeah. who um, actually give help. We had someone that has, like, professionally gives help for loans. And mm -hmm. she was amazing and, you know, what th figured out yeah. exactly what forms I was missing. Mm -hmm. I think it's uh, important to, like, find an individual, whether it's, like, a parent or a friend or a mentor to help you get through the whole entire applying process for financial aid and for the different schools and apply for as many grants as you can mm -hmm. because, I mean, who doesn't like free money? The problem with those, though, is there's like so many hoops that you have to jump through. Yeah, that's true. And I know from going to like the, the financial aid office at school, um, a lot of the people that work there, honestly, they don't the seem students. to care. Yeah, they, they yeah they're students, know. they're, yeah. they're, for they're volunteers, for like they don't know what they're doing. They're, mm -hmm. they're It's like blind leading the blind and it gets yeah. really irritating sometimes because you go to three different people, you get three different answers on yeah. mm -hmm. what you need to be doing next. You don't know what you know what's right. What's yeah, wrong. so it's really difficult to get like a really concise answer on yeah. something. Mm -hmm. I know um, for myself, like you know, my mom went to college, my dad went for a little bit, um, my sister is the first person to graduate college, and my parents pretty much knew that I was driven and that I took my education seriously. So they just kind of let me have free reign. Like they, I had no pressure whatsoever because they knew that I was going to go to college and that's all that mattered. Um, and I feel like because of that. I take my education really seriously, and um, whereas I know a lot of people who were forced into a UC, forced into a certain style of school, and that's not what they wanted. And I feel like it's just really important for new college students to really try and figure out on their own and try and separate, you know, what what is being put on you pressure-wise from really what you need and what you want. Because I know lots of kids who dropped out and then they did junior college and they said, "Why didn't I do this? Why wasn't I given this time yeah. in the beginning?" Yeah. To to get a taste of how confusing it is, oh, yeah. to get a taste of how much it costs. Well, especially where we grew up, because mm -hmm. Caitlin and I grew up in a community that is very gung-ho about four-year university. 